Hi, I'm George Miller from the Buffalo Bill Center of the West in Cody, Wyoming. And today we're talking about the Bighorn Mountains on the eastern side of the Bighorn Basin. We'll talk about the southern Bighorns today and the northerns next week. Well, here's our old friend Chugwater down at the base of the mountains on the west side. And here is Ten Sleep Sandstone. So we have another uplift situation like we did last week with the Beartooth where this whole crustal piece has been lifted up into the air and actually thrust to the east. So Ten Sleep Sandstone is easily erodible. You can see that big um, valley that's been created there as water has eroded that sandstone over time. Next is the Madison Formation. That's limestone, and that Madison limestone we saw over in the prior mountains as well. Older still is the Bighorn Dolomite. And the Bighorn Dolomite obviously is named for the Bighorn Mountains and this formation. So we can see how the water in this area has caused erosion again. And look at the canyons. Here is Ten Sleep Creek coming down into the Ten Sleep area. Really big in the spring. Lots of water comes through and, and causes erosion. Well, we can see the peaks of the mountains here. They're granite and there's some gneiss mixed in. Gneiss is a metamorphic rock that's really been compressed. And it's much tougher than the other areas. And so the erosion is slower with this harder rock. Oh, and here's beautiful Meadowlark Lake. A gorgeous scene. So there's those high granite cliffs and 13,000 foot uh, peaks over here in the Bighorns. High, high mountains. They were severely glaciated as well. You can see those cirques and uh, rounded areas where the glaciers have come through. Not The glaciers didn't get to the valley floor like in the Beartooth, but the high country is certainly very glaciated. Well, you can see also there's lots of forest. And the predominant tree here is the lodgepole pine. And lodgepole pine, you see, don't have really deep roots. The earth is not real deep here. And so there's a lot of blowdowns. And you can see that most of the foliage on these trees is at the top. And as you come down the tree, you see it thins out. But... Down on the forest floor, you can see a lot of piled up downed trees. It almost looks like pickup sticks. Not a lot of foliage either on the forest floor. Some wildflowers this time of year are very beautiful. Oh, and here's my favorite, the rose, the wild rose. Now, other things break down rocks besides just water and glaciers. Lichen, and lichen is a fungus and algae and bacteria and archaea all mixed together. And it, it emits an acid, oxalic acid, that actually breaks down the rocks. So there are lots of forces building the mountains up during the Laramide orogeny and now tearing them down and dragging them off toward the valley floor below. And here's, I'll leave you with this little stream that's pulling bits of the mountain down all the time into the valley. If you've enjoyed this series, please like and subscribe to the Buffalo Bill Center of the West YouTube page.